the stunning inverted pyramid at the Louvre here in Paris. When I first saw this, this blew me away. I didn't even understand how it could work. So some interesting facts about this. This was actually built four years after the big main pyramid above ground that is the famous pyramid at the Louvre. And the difference between this one and the other one is this one pointed the future of where structural glass design was going. Why? Because the glass was used as part of the structure. It wasn't just cladding a window, a piece placed onto the structure. The glass here is part of the very structure itself. Now, it's a little easier, obviously, because it's indoors. It doesn't have to deal with wind load or anything else. Just really, it's hung. It's, just, it's sort of holding its own weight, really, as it were, in an inverted manner. But this was the start. This was a way for people to learn how to work with a unique material like glass, start to use it in inspiring ways, getting people to understand just what it could do, and that if it's this open, how much daylight it could bring into spaces, and therefore the value of using structural glass in design and wanting and to generate in the want in people to learn how to design with structural glass and build more beautiful, fascinating structures. So just behind me, right there, here at the Louvre, that is the top of the, oh, there we go, inverted pyramid that helps bring light down to the lower level. It's easy to miss when you're walking across as we did when we were just crossing over to get to the big main pyramid that's over there, or harder to see, past there. But that is a spectacular, subtle top to one of the most fascinating structural glass designs in the world. Now, something I'm gonna try and do here is move around this structure with you. Let's see if we can do this. And you can start to see how, if I don't bump into anyone, you can start to see that transparency working beautifully in three dimensions of this inverted pyramid. Let's see the bottom there as we go. Look at this. The glass is part of all of this. The filigree bits of steelwork by Tri-Pyramid installed here. You've seen Apple glass doors uh, all throughout the world. Well, this was the forebear of them. This was like the grandparent of the Apple stores. Look at this. Unbelievable. The play of light, the shadows. It's a beautiful space to come into. Really, really stunning. And there really is this wonderful moment. There's this little gap, little gap. There it is. Between the bottom of this inverted pyramid and a little pyramid at the bottom of it. And it's really interesting because it sort of highlights the fact that the inverted pyramid is suspended, it really clarifies that. And you can see that for all the people around, it becomes something of an enjoyment, it's something to go right up to. And you can kind of do the counter thing that people do on the, the top with the big pyramid, where they pretend they're holding it up. Here people come up, there's a little kid, nice. Brilliant move. It's so enjoyable, right? People love doing this and interacting with it.